everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make a, well, any card that you like with your own voice recorder inside. So this is something that I've actually been sitting on for a while. I purchased these a while ago now when I was at my nan's and I brought her one of those, I think Build-A-Bear is pretty much worldwide and you can record a voice and I done a one of these Build-A-Bears for my nan many years ago and I saw it and heard it again and I thought that would be great to do in a card. I wonder if anybody sells them. Had a look online and I found some. So this is the card, so this is the front, really nice. I'll show you how I've done all the decoration as well. And then when you open it up. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to whoever gets this card, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> okay, so this is a 30 second recording little device, which I'll show you in a moment. You can get 10 second, 20 second and 30 second. I'm sure there's probably more that I, you know, will record for longer out there if you want to. Now. This can be, you can rewrite over them. So I will show you how to use it all in a moment, but it was mainly to kind of just do a, a basic kind of card really. And then you can incorporate this any way you want. Once you see how they work, it took me a while to understand them, to be honest, it came with no instructions at all. They just told me that they were light activated, but until you actually start to make it in a card, it, you have to kind of play around a little bit. So I'm hoping now that I've done all that hard work for you. Again, when you open it up, <laughs> okay, so around here, once you get familiar with it, there's a little click. If I hold that down, now you've got that beep. It's now recording and you hold your finger down on that. I'm going to show you this again with the actual device when we get it. But now this is recording. Everything I'm saying, I'm holding my finger down. Now when I remove it, it does two beeps and that means it's now taken your recording so that is now all in there and I'm not sure if there's a maximum time that you can record over them I know these play for I think a thousand times so I mean that's that's more than enough so now if I close that up it's light activated so I have there is black in amongst here to just make sure that's really nice and dark when it's inside but now now you've got that beep it's now recording and you hold your finger down on that I'm going to show you this again with the actual device when we get it and it will go off as soon as you close it. So that's recorded everything. I can go over that again when I go to actually give this to somebody because these are, I won't be selling these. I'm gonna keep these for me to give to family and friends. Another thing is this records very well and it records music. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not telling you to do it. I'm just saying it does record very well. But if you're going to sell these cards publicly, then I wouldn't be selling them with anything that is copy, you know, it's copyright. So yeah, this is what we're gonna make. I'll show you everything I've used on top. It's really easy, it really is. It's just, I thought, a nice fun thing to add to this creative card series. I have a box here. This is the same box that I used on the concertina garden card. So this is your five by seven, one inch, you know, dimensional envelope, because there's a lot of dimension to this and it's got a quarter of an inch um, kind of width to it, because you need to, give the actual little device space. Yeah, I think it all works really nice, makes a lovely, really special gift. So if you want to send someone a personal note, you know, for the servicemen abroad, or, you know, working, so I know that we used to do this for my dad when he was away, because he was in the Navy for a long time, we would send voice messages, little recordings and cards and stuff. So it is, it's really nice. I think a lot of you are going to really enjoy this. Okay, so this is how they look. So I picked up five of these for 7 dollars They're not the cheapest, so it is gonna be for those special cards. But how they use them is they literally just stuck this. This is double-sided tape. They just stuck that in the card like that. So you saw all of this, it looked awful. <laughs> I get the, you know, the, the concept's great, but you have gotta cover that up because that does not look nice for someone opening the card. So that's what I've been playing around with and I wanted to make sure I got it right. But um, yeah, I'll share the links to these. It was either Amazon or eBay. And like I said, you can get the 10 second, 20 and 30. Once you get them, I there is nothing on here that tells me this is 30 second, but it is. So if you do buy different ones, it's worth keeping them in bags and writing on them because, yeah, that's it. They came like that. No instructions, nothing. So <laughs> I had to play around with them for a while. So I'm using the Secret Garden Dovecraft papers for today's and the one that I've already showed you. Now, this is all my stuff, because you kind of want to make the inside quite dark, so I'll talk through that in a moment. So, you want a piece here, which is 11 by seven, and you're gonna score at a quarter of an inch, half an inch, five and a half, five and three quarters, and 10 and three quarters, okay? 
then you want a piece of 10 by 7 and you're just going to score at 5. Okay. So what's going to happen is if we first of all just fold and burnish all of these score lines, be careful because obviously some of them, you know, they are very small, but you want to make sure you do get them perfect because this is going to give our card our shape and a little pocket for the actual voice recorder to fit in. Okay, so on the left hand side when we first scored, we scored at a quarter of an inch and half an inch. That is always got to be on the left hand side. So those two score lines here on the left, you've got your middle score, like two here, and then you've got this one quarter inch. This will always be on the right. So you want to make sure you've always got it in that orientation. This is all going to fold around and this second quarter of an inch piece here will end up sticking against that one. This is going to be a hinge which we are going to stick our front onto and close it up. So basically this width here is what our circuit's going to sit in. Okay, just that little bit there. I'll talk you through the mats and the layers when we get to decorating, but now let's get straight into preparing this. Okay, so this, like I said, this is how it comes and you've got the double-sided tape. This is your speaker and I think this is just picks up I don't know because you never see it, it gets stuck right down so I'm not entirely sure what it is but this little piece here, this red dot, whatever it is, that is the light detector. That is what needs to be covered and then lifted, the card will lift and that will be, get exposed. So again, if I show you here on the card, now you've got that, beat. It's now recording and you you've got that tiny dot there that. and it's that again, dot that has got the that little there. red bit so just there inside. Insane. Okay, sorry, because that's going to keep talking. In fact, let me just... Now you've got that beat. It's now... So I just recorded nothing then. I held my finger down, then wait for the, the first beep, then just leave it holding down, then let go, you get the two beeps. And now, i close that up. Okay, so that's it. Now I can show you that in the tutorial and it's not going to keep hearing me talk. <laughs> okay, so... I've got here this paper, again always remember those two score lines are on the left hand side, this is going to be the inside of my card. So I've got this pattern paper here and it's actually going to work quite well because what I'm going to try and do is have the centre of one of these flowers as my hole punched hole for this to sit behind. Okay, so I've got my X cut cir circle, um, sorry screw punch but you can obviously use just a normal hole punch but if you've got a normal hole punch you're restricted obviously how far in you can go. With this here, I can go all over it and punch my hole. But again, if you don't have that, you can just cut a little square. So there's other ways if you've got a cutting knife and things like that. But what I'm gonna do first of all is I'm just gonna stick this down and then I can actually see kind of what flower is gonna be best. I think I've kind of roughly think I know which one. I'm just gonna pop that in there. So this mat here, it's four and seven eighths by six and seven eighths. So it's just slightly smaller than the five by seven area that I've got here. Okay, I love this paper, it's really, really nice. Then I'm gonna open it up this way because I need to obviously punch my hole. But you can have this any way you want. It doesn't have to be up that way. So I'm gonna have it on its side here. Remembering that this here, it's got a little P next to it. Again, I don't know what any of this means, but I'm gonna have, I think, that one and it's going to come out of this middle of the flower there, okay? So I'm going to punch a hole. If you've got one of these, I know lots of you have, I'm using the largest one because it is exactly the same size as that little light detector. So now I've punched my hole, you can just see my finger behind it there. Now that, it doesn't come through, but you can see there it's just behind it, but I think it blends in really, really well. I mean, that one is still fine. You know, at the end of the day, this is a voice recorder, so people are gonna expect there to be an area for the sound to come through. But it's still, you know, I might put something decorative around that, but don't cover it. Possibly vellum, you might be able to put some vellum over it. I haven't tried, because I didn't really want to interfere with it too much, but I've got lots of room here. I'm gonna write my message, you know, and stamp it on some plain white paper and then stick that into that section there. So now I'm happy that that's going to go there, like this. 
what you need to do is hold this in place Oh no, before we do that, sorry. Then you've got these two pieces here, which we want to stick inside both sides. And this is just going to kind of black everything out. It's just going to help that card. I don't know if it does actually need this. Again, I just put all these measures into place because what I didn't want happening is someone taking it out of the box and the light kind of get into it before the person's even opened the card. So then I've got these two pieces of fun foam, which I'm going to cut down, but they're going to go there and there. To not to to help support the card because I don't want it to cave in, but also to help block in any light that might come through the top and the bottom of the card. Okay, so I mean once you play around with these, but I thought these are just quick simple things to do, and you know what have you got to lose? You know you don't want to waste money and stick it all together and then find out that there's light has got in somewhere and it's yeah it's not working how you want to. So just do these couple of extra bits and I think it's gonna yeah guarantee that it will work this is really scrap paper if you're wondering why it's all creased because I thought I'm not gonna just cut into a brand new piece so I just yeah I got it out of my bin <laughs> but once the glue's down um, it all flattens out and you will never know because you're not gonna see it anyway so I'm just gonna stick these two again these are the same measurement as my front piece so four and seven eighths of an inch by six and seven eighths of an inch I probably should have stuck this one in before I punched that hole but it's fine I can just go over it Okay, so then I'm just going to go back over, just punch that back out again. Okay, right, so now we're ready to stick this down. So I want to line it up. Yeah, so take the backing off. I'm going to hold this down. Doesn't matter if it's not straight inside, but you want to make sure that that stays right there. Like so, perfect. As you can see, mine's crooked there, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> That's another one that I've done. So now, if I again, you, you'll feel your little wherever that is, it's always to the right hand side, or well, when it's upright, you see it's off to the right hand side. So you'll just need to remember which way you put it in. But if you feel around, you'll find it straight away. And the other thing with this is, don't think it's easy for someone to record over because that would have to have constant pressure on it like so and now it's recording again because you imagine something squashing it so are these going to travel well in the post yes as long as you put them in another box you don't want them to get squashed so let go got to have those two beeps and then you know you've got the recording done and then obviously we need to close and um, cover that because it's light reactive so it's not been kind of closed off yet until we put the lid on but you'll hear that again in a moment but you see what I mean you can feel it so don't worry if you think you're not going to because you will then with this these bits here because this is a quarter inch height on the sides I've just put two pieces of fun foam together in a color that's kind of going to coordinate with the card so I'm going to have those pieces there and then I want to have one piece right along the top so I'm going to just stick these together I'm just going to grab my red tape Okay, so I've just prepped all my pieces and I've cut some of them down because I need to put a strip along here. Obviously, it's quite a small area. Now, these are, it depends what depth you want them, but they're all four and seven eighths, just slightly shorter again of that five by seven width. It took me a while to get that backing off there. So this one, so you want to make sure it just lines up with the black that you've already laid down. And it's just going to help keep out any light that might kind of get in there before. So that's that one there, and then I'm gonna pop this one down. Again, always make sure you've got your two score lines on the left-hand side. This one I'm gonna pop just a little bit up from the bottom, because you don't want it to be, you know, really noticeable. And then I've got those that I'm just gonna pop in there. And this is just to obviously help block out any light, but also to give the card support, because you don't want it to cave in and kind of dip, because obviously, yeah, it needs that support because it's got that piece there. So again I'm just going to edit this all out because I'm struggling. I can't find my pokey tool anywhere. I could put another bit there if I want to but I think it's going to be okay. So again I think I had, oh, I'll use this thing here. Okay, And then you just want to take all of the backing off. Oh my god that was a fight to get that off anyway. <laughs> We're there now. I'm just going to 
reburnish that one a bit. So now you want to fold everything over. Make sure you keep everything nice and straight, which it should anyway. And just stick that down. Okay, so I can see that's all secure, like so. Okay, so next we want to add on our front. So I'm going to use I'm going to use the red tape here. So you just want to turn it over, and you're just going to add tape along the outer quarter inch piece. Okay, because you've got two, you're just putting it on the. Oh. <laughs> You can see there, because I turned it over, it went dark, because obviously it was covered. So it re they work really well. <laughs> but as soon as you stop that light, it will, um, yeah, it will turn off. So now I'm just going to take the backing off of this piece. There we go, I've just got rid of that sound because otherwise it's just going to keep going off. So now I'm just going to stick this on the outer piece, like so. And again, just make sure that's all nice and secure. And then all on this inside piece, I'm going to add my wet glue. So you just want to add the glue over the first score line. Well, actually, because you do want to stick that, it's up to you whether you want to stick this against this piece here. You can leave it. I'm going to just leave it just to show you how it looks. And then you can decide if you want to stick it down. So if you want to stick both down, you just want to add glue now to everything, even the inner quarter inch piece, okay? But if I just stick this right over, so now it's going to conceal that little kind of hinge. Okay, so I've just done a quick test record on it because before it had nothing on it because I was doing the tutorial and it was annoying me, so I <laughs> went over it. So now I'm just resetting it by making sure it's dark and then... Okay, I recorded that quite far away, so the closer you are, obviously, the louder it will be. You obviously have got the speaker in there. If you did want to, you could cut a hole on the back for the speaker. It's up to you. I mean, this one here, I done... Hang on, no, did I do this one? No, I haven't. If I do... Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I've done this so many times. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. <laughs> okay, so when you're closer, so I took that off camera because I had it right up to my mouth, it's nice and loud. Okay, so that is the card done, but like I said, I am going to add glue along that bit because if you don't, it just, that ends up kind of poking out and it stops your hinge kind of where it just catches. So I'm just going to run just a thin bead of glue down here. So this tutorial is really just about getting this voice recorder working, you know, and yeah making a nice card with it. So this is a basic card because I think, first of all, do it on something like this, get used to it, and then, you know, we can start using it on some other things. So yeah, I've got lots of nice ideas for this one. Okay, so that's all stuck down better now. So then I'm gonna decorate the front. So I've got this piece here, which is four and seven eighths by six and seven eighths, and this is four and three quarters by six and three quarters. So I'm just gonna mat and layer over the top. If I bring this one over, you can see what I've done there. So I've used all of the Secret Garden, well not all of it, but a lot of the accessories. I'm gonna pretty much follow that same pattern. So I'm gonna stick these mats and layers down and then I'm just gonna speed up the video and yeah, show you when it's all finished. Okay, so I've decorated my card. 
There it is, all finished. I love it, and I love the holographic cardstock. Just poking you through there, just add some sparkle. Finished it off with some little gems. The only difference is I didn't add the bunting on this one. I thought I'd leave it off. But now, when you open it up, So that was just a quick test there, but um, there was a little bit of crackling at the beginning of that one as well. But like I said, you can rewrite over them. At the minute, I've probably rewrote over quite a few of these a few times, so I'm, I'm hoping that there isn't a kind of limit on that. But I know it did say that it will play for up to a thousand times. So yeah, that's probably included in all the replays, I guess. And um, sorry, overriding it, you know, rewriting over it. So yeah, and there's that one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> so I don't know whether there's that one might be a slight dud because um, I didn't record I guess particularly close on that but it's not as clear as this one so and I've got another one which I'd already done and given to somebody and that one was perfect so yeah they've probably all been made in China I can't guarantee that every single one is going to be perfect so I'm putting it out there now this is all new to me but um, yeah let me know what you think let me know if you've done this yourself maybe you've purchased some and you can recommend some other sites and stuff but they're the only ones that I found at the moment so uh, yeah let me know pop anything in the comment boxes below so yeah that's it from me like i said the box for this is on the concertina garden card and that would have been linked in up here somewhere so just go to that it's you want to go in at 16 no sorry 13 minutes and 42 again i'll put a little um box up here just uh telling you that i will do some box tutorials separately so it's easy then for me to just tell you to revert to that tutorial rather than go into another one. So that is on my list of things to do. But until next time, hope you've enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you have and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.